Number 1. Belmore Park. Goldburn's Genteel Central Park abounds with mature trees, neat lawns, flower beds, and little monuments. This space used to be the city's marketplace, and was named in honor of NSW Governor Lord Belmore on the arrival of the railway in Goldburn in 1869. Number 2. St. Saviour's Cathedral. At the head of Montague Street stands what is thought to be one of Australia's finest provincial cathedrals. St. Saviour's Cathedral is in a Gothic revival style and was ready in 1884 after 10 years of construction. Number 3. Goulburn Rail Heritage Center. As soon as the railway reached Goulburn in 1869 it was joined by a depot in the town's southern outskirts. A 42-road roundhouse opened here in 1918 and this remarkable piece of heritage continues to function, representing a perfect snapshot of the transition between the steam and diesel eras. Number 4. Goldburn Historic Waterworks. In 1885 Goldburn's first reticulated water supply came from a pumping station next to the Woolandilly River at Marsden Weir. Now listed on the National Trust and State Heritage Registers, the site is intact both inside and out, making it the only facility of its kind in the Southern Hemisphere. Number 5. Rocky Hill War Memorial and Museum. One Goldburn landmark visible from far and wide is the Hilltop War Memorial, completed in 1925 to commemorate those who served in the First World War. Needless to say, the sunsets are pretty special up here. Number 6. The Big Merino. Australia is littered with giant objects known as big things, the first of which appeared in the 1960s. These are minor tourist attractions, normally celebrating a local industry or piece of heritage. So it's apt that in a historically pastoral place like Goulburn, the big thing should be a humongous merino ram. Number 7. Riversdale. The first of a handful of charming old properties to be visited in Goulburn is this Georgian homestead that started out in the 1830s as an inn. The property later became a school and then a residence, and was bought in 1875 by the Twynham family who would remain until Riversdale was acquired by the National Trust in 1967. Number 8. Goulburn Courthouse. Along the stately Montague Street opposite Belmore Park you'll come to one of the finest court buildings in the state. The work of government architect James Barnett, 1827-1904, to the Goulburn Courthouse was raised from 1885 to 1887 in the Victorian free classical style. Number 9. Woolandilly River Walkway. The Goulburn Mullery Council has taken a lot of care to open the beautiful green banks of the Woolandilly River up to the public. There's a bike-friendly paved track along 4 kilometers of the riverbank in Goulburn, between Marsden Weir in the west and the Tarlow Street Bridge in the east. Number 10. Lansdowne Park. The oldest European property in Goulburn is the heritage-listed Lansdowne Park, a homestead constructed between 1822 and 1825. On the estate is a single-story colonial house, a ballroom, coach house, stables, convict-built servants' quarters, a synagogue, a convict jail and three little cottages. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.